Oh. I, don't know, I haven't been able to see them. It's not super bad. Oh, look at here. Sheepy. Whoa. Come on. Here. Look at that one. <laughs> I don't have a slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this. <laughs> Well guys, good morning. Debbie and I are at a little different location this morning. It's a, it's a little pass right off the Gulf of Mexico. And we got our own little secluded uh, spot to sit for now. Once the tide comes up, we might not be so lucky, but we're gonna give it a whirl here and see if we can get anything to bite like a snapper or, whoop, look at Debbie. She already only came back with half her shrimp. If there's any mangrove snappers or sheephead or anything that will want to participate in a little fun time with us, we'd gladly appreciate it. As you can see, it's quite a beautiful view. Another super nice morning. A couple little wispy clouds, which I know I'm pretty descriptive. <laughs> and, and my beautiful bride here, so I'm sure today I'll just be the cameraman net guy, like always. So. All right, well, wish us luck. I'm going to uh, draw a little line in the sand here. We'll keep an eye on it and just see when the tide actually starts turning. Okay, there's my line. I know it's a beautiful one, but we'll keep an eye on that periodically. I was hoping I could just film Debbie here as she's just crushing it. but She's been getting bites, but I think they're just little twerps right now, but... We've got a lot of patience. we got all day. It's beautiful out here, so it's not hard to stay. We'll see what we can do. Oh, look at these. I was going to show you these. I think these are live. Live snails. Oh, yeah, here's this big foot right here. Isn't that cool? There's another one. They're live. We'll let them stay there. Oh. I, don't know, I haven't been able to see them. It's not super bad. Oh, look at here. Sheepy. Whoa. Come on. Here. Look at that one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. You see me okay in the sun? Yeah. Boy, I barely got him in his lip, too, huh? We'll have to measure him and see if he's legal or not. Boy, you don't get so, so close. Um, yeah, we'll see if he's legal or not. If not, fun, we've been here about an hour, probably. Wouldn't you guess, honey? Yeah. All right. We'll measure him and see what it does. All right, I got a tape measure here. It says, I looked it up, but they gotta be 12 inches, so I don't know. I do. I don't know. Look at that one. 12 and a half. Nice. This one's going in the bucket and going home with us. Maybe I'll be lucky enough that uh, Debbie will do another uh, catch, clean, and cook. We'll give it a shot. Hopefully there's more to come. Oh, here he comes, another sheeper. This one's better yet, I think. Looks bigger. Oh yeah, baby. Another sheep head. We better measure them, huh? Yeah, definitely. Okay, come here, you. Boy, they're just got some power. Wow. Let's see what see what we got. Dang nuts. Can we do it on the sand? Huh? 
Oh, I really did it bad, huh? Come on, man. This one looks longer than the first one. Can you pull that tape, please? Thanks. We got her. Nice. That's a 13 incher. Sweet. There we go. We'll get some. Look at these teeth on this thing. <laughs> it's the craziest little. Who? <laughs> I don't want to put your finger in there, I don't think. It feels like a... No. Damn it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Hang on. Yep. Give her the beans. Nothing? Nope. We'll try it uh, this next time. Well, wait till you, if you feel a little tap again, set the hook like a crazy woman. Don't, there you go. Ooh, you're on that oh. time. Oh, look at you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, you know what? Is that a snapper? It's, a, it's another uh, species, but it's obviously not in the uh, throw in the bucket category. But no. Is that a snapper? Yeah. What is that? Yep, that's, that's a mangrove, mangrove snapper. snapper yeah. Okay. Huh. Nice. Okay, the only thing I can feel good about this one for today is that you haven't caught one of these. Oh, I know, right? Don't, 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 don't. I know. They got nasty teeth I, on know, I, I know. I was just going to look. I got drilled by one of those I know. one time. I was, oh, yeah, see? I remember that. They got attitude. Okay, see? All right. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Let me get this shrimp on here. I'll kind of just show you the little, it's a very simple setup. All right. Just got an egg sinker with a plastic stop so it doesn't cut your line on your swivel. And about an 18 inch snell. And we're just using straight hooks instead of circle hooks. That way if we feel the bite, we can just lay into them. And, um, once, one time out of 100 it works, huh, honey? Yeah. <laughs> But More like one two hundred. Yeah, maybe. pretty simple rig, and I don't know. Seems like it's working okay. We already got three in the pail, so. This one hit pretty good. Well, it's another sheeper. It's a little one though. This one gets to go back. It's, it's all right. It's still fun though. Come here, you. There we go. There, decent little thrower back one anyway. There you go. I'm gonna see the whole bite and everything, so hopefully it happens. Where'd they all go? Oh, oh geez. Oh, okay, this just this, this. Hey, keep your rod. There you go, babe. We got it all on tape this time. Oh no, did it get off? No, it's on. It's a snapper Oh, here it comes. Again. Oh, jeepers! Another little Grover. That one's yeah. a little bigger. <laughs> that one might. I don't remember what the size has to be. Eight inches, I think. Uh, I could tell this one definitely hit different. It didn't. It didn't bite and run. It like bit and like grabbed it and yeah. ran. Hey, and it left me some bait. Nice. Cool. All we'll right. get it taken off and we'll measure it if it's eight inches or bigger. We'll... There's no reason why we keep cooking looks like fish. It might be more than eight inches. Yeah, right. Kind of a cool looking fish. Good job, honey. Thanks. Yeah, you caught two of those. I've got zero of those. 
course, in the end, I'm sure he let me go again, though. This one feels different, but... Well, I guess not. It's still a sheepy. He's got some fight to him, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Oh, that's a nice one, too. That one might make it too. I think yeah. it's bigger yet. I'm say that one's bigger than the first two. Check it out. Yes, another 13er. Nice. Here we go. Shaking good. Come on. Oh, I got a bite too. That's probably me, maybe in your line. Yeah, uh, it doesn't feel like that, but. Where the heck are you? There it is. There you come. Isn't the sheepy. Boy, it's really fighting in the current, isn't it? Yeah, I see that. Do you see it under there? Mm, it's hard for me to tell from here, but. Pretty sure I got it. it. This one might be a little on the smurfy side too, huh? If you don't measure it out. Oh my gosh. Make it. What does it say? It looks pretty big. We make it. Yeah. Twelve and a half or Good job. What'd you catch? Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a shrimp head. It's a shrimp head. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, uh, I don't know if you guys remember where I put my line in the sand, but that was way down there now. There. And uh, those two shells I showed you that were live, that were way out of the water. I don't know if you can see this now, but there's quite a bit of water there. So we're actually getting pushed out of our little secret cove we're gonna have to go up around these mangroves and sit on the side of the shore up there, I think, just to be able to keep fishing. So it's been a fun little spot here. Can't complain about that. We've got some mangrove snappers and some sheep heads. So we're gonna pack up all our stuff and head up on the other side of these mangroves and give it a shot. A lot of nada. Well guys, you can see we got moved to up from, we were fishing around the corner over there. There's a Debbie's got bear hook. Yeah. A little thief robber or bait robbers around here. But the tide is coming up crazy. When we first got here, right up in that line right there, that's where the water was. Pretty cool spot here though. Even if we, even if we don't catch any more today, we've had a great morning. Watch out the water to it. Uh, see it going underneath there? I can't, it's hard to see. Oh, he's gone. He's under there, too far for me to see. Little crab. We'll keep an eye out for him. I'm a little crab too, because I'm not catching any fish. Yeah. Can't deny the scenery though. It's pretty awesome. Look at all that water is. It's so pretty. There he is. It's coming out on that. See him? Yep. Set your uh, hook down. There you go. Well, it's there he's coming. Oh, he sees you. <laughs> you must have saw your boost. Or my shadow. Yeah. No, oh, he's back under there. We'll see if he comes out. All right, guys, we got back from a, yeah, it was a pretty good day, I think, this morning. Um, we went to Clam Pass Park, I guess it would be. It's got like a three quarter of a mile boardwalk to the beach. Then from there, another, I don't know, what would you say, pretty good jaunt. Quarter to three eighths of a mile. Yeah. But uh, we had the whole spot to ourselves this morning. It was pretty fun. 
We caught uh, five sheephead, a couple mangrove snappers. Um, four out of the five sheephead were good enough to keep, and the one mangrove snapper we thought was maybe close to Debbie was uh, nine and a half, and they have to be 10 inches to keep, so that of course swam away. But I wanted to give a little shout out to my future nephew, Evan, for the sweet shirt that he had made for me for Christmas. A little street cred. And obviously it's partially because I'm his favorite uncle or uncle to be, so I'm sure that's a big part of it. But anyway, I'm gonna clean some of these sheep head and I'm lucky enough to uh, have Debbie's gonna do some cooking again tonight. Um, yeah, and we're gonna see what these things taste like. I don't know if we've ever had them this fresh. Every time where we've uh, caught them, we've uh, put them vacuum sealed and then we basically brought them home. This is the first time where we're gonna clean them and eat them basically as fresh as you could ever imagine. I think they kind of clean up basically like any other fish. Got to get by the rib cage and then obviously those pin bones. Pretty nice looking boy. I'll get the other one quick too and then I'll take the skin off and then I won't bore you with the rest of them. I'll just uh, show you how I clean at least one. You guys are probably wondering why I use this little four inch fillet knife. It's because normally all the fish that I clean are panfish size and I'm very used to that play knife so that's why I keep using it you know but these fish are almost getting a little on the big side for it but there's the flays and then I'll take a little longer blade Ooh. It's got a definite bloodline on them. Not that that's going to matter when they're super fresh. I don't think they will, but get these pin bones out of here. There we go. Two little fresh fillets. I'm gonna put them in an ice bath. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh, look at this. High five. It's a delicious IPA that, you know, I'm not a sp sponsored by them, but it's still really good beer. <laughs> here we go, put them in the ice bath and we'll get back to you when we're uh, starting the cooking process. Right, honey? Right, honey. Well guys, here we are back in uh, Debbie's Extended Kitchen down in Naples, Florida. And uh, today we got some delicious sheep head that she's gonna prepare. I don't know what her thoughts are. What, uh, you wanna let us know? Um, yeah, I'm just using some seasoned fish fry, just uh, Louisiana brand from Walmart. And I'm gonna dredge the fish in that and then we'll dip it in a little egg wash and then I've got some breadcrumbs that have been seasoned with some fishmongers and at Aaron's request <laughs> the, oh. the dust from his peanut that's jar. gonna be good what the <laughs> so that's, that's a, a new one for me that's a so, secret ingredient yeah so we're we'll we'll try it Absolutely. you know never say never right 
So I'm just gonna do this on each of the pieces. This is just to help the egg wash stick yeah. to the fish. And then we'll put it in the egg wash. And then we'll dip it in the bread crumbs. So we'll do that to all the pieces. I think we got what, eight pieces here in eight plates? I suppose, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that to all of them and then we'll come back and fry them. Excellent. After they're done. Can't lie, I'm getting a little excited. That'll be good. Yeah. To show that fish who's boss. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'm going to lay down there. It's not looking good already. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Right, what are we thinking tonight? Fish tacos, huh? Yeah, I think some fish tacos and maybe a little Spanish rice. Nice. It does sound wonderful. Mm -hmm. and that book and look at how it's brown already. Yeah, they're pretty thin. Yeah, pretty good on that. So, let's take them on to... Starting to very cool. Not sure I have the right tool. Oh, I know, right? Gotta work with the tools I've been given. Nice and golden brown already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Heck yeah. Alright, got six more to go. Nice. Alright, the frying's done. And I think tonight we're going to do some fish tacos. So, what do you say? You're going to assemble one? Yeah. So, just plain old flour taco or tortilla. And I'm going to take some of this. It looks so good. Boy, I'd say it looks super good. We should try a little bit. Try a bit. Mm. Mm. Yes. You probably shouldn't have any. That's not very good. I'll have to admit, the peanut dust isn't bad. It's pretty good. Oh, golly. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's tasty. Okay, don't waste that peanut dust. Yeah. Apparently. Um, then we're going to just take a little bit of coleslaw. Do you want rice inside? Well, I think so. No, inside is always better. Okay. Just got a little Spanish rice here. I know you cram it, but we gotta make it where we can actually close it. Yeah. And some yeah. zesty ranch. Yeah, sounds wonderful. stuff. There you go. Have fun uh, taking a bite of that without making a giant mess. I think you should go for no, it. No, go for it. <laughs> I already lost some. That's okay. Did you even get any fish? No. It's like right there. You better get a good bite with some fish. I oh know. It's messy. Mm. You did that time? Mm-hmm. So what do you think of sheep better? Are they pretty good? Mm, especially really when they good. Yeah, fresh, I think. Fresh? Mm -hmm. Fresh is the key. Mm -hmm. Before we've uh, caught them and brought them home, and we actually vacuum seal them, but I don't know, it seems like they just get a little wild taste and gamey. Mm -hmm. So, all right, yeah, you perfect. Better, you better try it. Yeah, I got, I got 4% left in that. Mm. It is rock star good. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I'm mm -hmm. excited. Yeah, well, better fresh. Again, thanks honey for putting it all together and letting us uh, enjoy 
the fruits of our labor, I guess, huh? Yeah, very good. All right, well, thanks for watching and see you next time.